So what I'm going to do is I'm going to quickly look at some of the posts on Twitter on this Sunday. Uh, and basically what we're looking at is uh, issues of polls and, uh, and health. Uh, today, of course, Hillary Clinton had her, her uh, situation, could not take the heat. It turns out that Hillary Clinton has uh, uh, signs of pneumonia and dehydration. She left the 9-11 event. And the question is, how big is this issue? Well, some people on the internet, uh, Trump supporters, uh, particularly the right wing supporters, uh, the conspiracy theorists are saying that, you know, she has uh, Parkinson's disease, which I think, you know, and they basing that upon one doctor who's not even a Parkinson specialist. So, uh, you know, look, she had a cough, and now, and now she has an, another or effect of that pneumonia. And trying to make a big deal out of it, I think, is sad. Now, if she, you know, I do believe that she should turn her medical records over. Uh, and also Donald Trump, too. Uh, she has released far more than Donald Trump. Uh, the letter that he uh, released from that doctor is quackery. So let's move on. Every moment the spotlight isn't on Trump, it's a victory for him, and no question about that. Uh, in terms of Breitbart News, uh, basically, it, it's talking about candidates' concerns for inner, inner cities. Now, keep in mind, this is Breitbart, um, which is um, you know, way out there. Uh, Donald Trump, 37% uh, sincere, 54% considered to be a ploy. Hillary Clinton, 40% sincere 51 percent uh, a ploy um so anyway that's that's what i don't, I don't believe that um I, I think that uh, that hillary clinton is a lot more sincere than donald trump as relates to the inner city um, and even being close i think you what you have to look at is are the blacks supporting uh, trump no are they supporting clinton yes okay so Let's uh, 9-11 cuts in both uh, their campaigns. New poll reveals voters find unconscious Clinton more fit to be president than conscious Trump. Uh, today's key, fairly or not, Clinton scare lets Trump argue that physical fitness more important than temperamental fitness. And um, again, I think that you know they ought to release their health records. Um, and let me say this, I think that given uh, some of the recent revelations that Trump may have uh, committed uh, bribery in terms of money that he paid to the Florida Attorney General uh, right after the announcement that the state was looking at Trump University, uh, to me, the fact that that he paid it and it looked like he tried to hide the uh, payment is um, is at least arguably try to hide it. Uh, it was penalized for it. So I think that you know the tax returns absolutely ought to come out. Healthcare, yes. Emails, absolutely. Okay. Uh, now look at this. Trump to discuss his health regimen on Dr. Oz this week as Clinton Health reemerges. Um, okay, fine. Now, uh, does that mean he's going to release his medical records uh, discussing your health regimen? Come on. You know, this that's a show. Um, new poll shows Hillary Clinton has a 46 to 41 percent lead over Donald Trump. So that's 5 percent, although that has uh, dropped. Um, and we went through that already. Uh, as far as the poll, there's no question. There's no question that... Uh, the certain battleground states are, are definitely tightening, and I think everybody would expect that to happen. Um, we'll talk about that in a second. Here is a, a tweet that says that Hillary Clinton has, uh, say, uh, travel pool reporters, but Trump has no such pool, a break with bath, uh, past candidates. The uh, Again, Robert Coster in the poll, and Hillary Clinton talking to Jake uh, Tapper from CNN. There's, there's phony strength and there's real strength. The question is, 
who has the best strength. Just screaming and yelling doesn't, doesn't equal strength. Making statements about a plan that doesn't exist doesn't equal strength. Um, at the same time, um, I think that you know, there are legitimate questions about Hillary Clinton's email and uh, whether or not why it was set up the way it was set up. So now here's something, P uh, Jamel, uh, uh, people don't like the basket of deplorables comment, but that doesn't mean it's wrong. And my take on this is that a very large um, group of supporters or supporting uh, Donald Trump in, and I believe that many of them have uh, racist, bigoted tendencies. And uh, some of their, uh, his comments are deplorable. The fact that they support his comments, such as uh, banning Muslims uh, based on religion, uh, his comment about Mexicans, uh, that he said, that they're uh, that he assumes that some are good people that's deplorable and people who support that i'm sorry i, I just i just think that's really sad what she did was a mistake a political mistake um but keep in mind that what she also said was that that she was uh, generalizing but not just generalizing she said in advance that this is a gross generalization. And I think you should look at the entire statement. Nevertheless, it is an issue. Here's a, um, shows the battleground states, Arizona, Georgia, Nevada, New Hampshire. What's interesting is that Nevada and New Hampshire have been primarily Democratic in past elections and they are one point difference. Uh, Arizona and Georgia uh, likewise are very very close and they have been primarily Republican so it just it does show that Donald Trump is eating into into the lead okay so Obama's former doctor on Hillary Clinton's health um, Americans need to know more about Clinton's health well you know if you look at the, the goofy letter that her doctor Gave saying that he, you know he could be the mo that what the healthiest president um, ever uh, is just I mean you know that was a uh, that wasn't a medical record at all. Um, Trump says I don't know a thing about Clinton's health incident this morning. Uh, that's what he said seven hours ago, and it was, uh, feels like a good day for both of them to release their medical records, I agree. So, moving on real quickly, uh, typically opponent would now put out statement expressing gratitude that Clinton is feeling better. Trump, doubt Trump uh, will respond that way. Yeah, I think that that's uh, probably the best thing to do, but we'll see. Trump and the right have so tried to use Clinton's health that coughing or getting too hot is made out to be signs of illnesses. Cape Art, folks, don't forget the second half of what Hillary Clinton said in that deplorable comment. Justifiable economic anxiety of Trump supporters. Justifiable economic anxiety. Here are ways that Trump has insulted Americans more than Hillary Clinton. Uh, here's Jennifer Jacobs. Clinton left Ground Zero shortly after 9. It's unclear why. Trump is still there talking with Giuliani. Um, and lastly, let's look at this one uh, from Greg Sargent. Above all, the true nature of support for Trump must always be swept under the rug. From the Washington Post, Betsy Woodruff uh, says that Heitman, oh, Heitman, I'm sorry, on ABC says that Clinton's basket of deplorables comment is close to the dictionary definition of bigot. Um, again, I, uh, I think she could have said it in a different way, uh, but I do think that she was pointing out that some of his supporters 
have uh, taken positions or doing certain things that quite frankly are deplorable.